Yes, that's the game of the region. That's the way countries are dealing with their neighbors and conduct their foreign uh, policy. UAE is a very significant player in the Middle East, very, very important one. And UAE more and more is taking a frontline leadership. Just reminding you that a um, couple of days ago, the, the UAE air was visiting formerly Turkey and it was very warmly accepted. UAE is going to massively invest in Turkey. UAE um, is seeking um, all the time to have a better relationship with its neighbor, that it's called Iran. The UAE have no illusion about the nature of the regime in Iran, but the UAE understand this is the neighbor and they have to find ways to uh, dwell one next to the other, reminding you that Iran presents a, a security challenge to the United Arab Emirates. There is also a lot of controversial issues between the two, like, for example, three islands that are occupied by the Iranians that the UAE argue it belongs to the UAE. But the interesting thing about it is to see that the UAE, they are very smart. They are coming to these discussions with the Iranian with, uh, from a point of power. Uh, because they have been kind of like able, the UAEs, to establish their position as a powerful factor in the region. Uh, just a very significant note and a very interesting hint or signal from the UNE to Iran. Uh, the same day um, that the UAE basically today is the visit, but yesterday, uh, the UAE sent a formal invitation to the president of Israel to come and visit the UAE. This is a very clear signal to the Iranians. And the UAE basically are very significant from, on the other hand, to the Iranians, because the UAE today is, for example, one of the um, Arab countries, and it's important one, that is kind of like pushing forward to take back Assad regime into the Arab world. Um, UAE can play a very significant role as far as the Iranians concerned in the context of the situation in Lebanon. Uh, so you could see there is a mutual uh, point of uh, this of meeting, sort of speaking, between the interests of the two, the UAE and the Iranians. But the interesting thing to see is that the UAE very wisely are coming to this discussion from a, from a point of a strength, not from a point of a weakness. That's not exactly the situ situation when you look today at the Iranians. Uh, and uh, so, so you're saying the, the UAE is coming to in, in, in a position of strength towards Iran, and yet how are these? How is this perhaps viewed in in Israel? Uh, uh, how how much how, how much concern is there perhaps from the fact that uh, Israel's new best friend is actually getting closer to Iran? In the Middle East, you don't have best friends and you don't have a bitter enemies. It varies. <laughs> Look, uh, it's very significant, the relationship that Israel has with the UAE. I anticipate those relationships to continue and further strengthen. Um, the, the UAE have no illusions about the Iranian regime. And they definitely are not going to drop the Israeli card just because the Iranian regime is smiling at them. Uh, so from an Israeli perspective, all along, I can see mostly a benefit in the sense that the UAE kind of like can be a sort of like a go between or send messages or provide some kind of like messages that could be also in, in the service of the state of Israel. We have to remember, but at the same time, that while we are working quite closely with the UAE and particularly in the area of technologies and uh, security and intelligence capacities, we have to be aware also in the back of our minds uh, to that to that point. But all in all, when I look at the picture, I think that Israel should not be concerned with the uh, discussions going on between the UN and the Iranians. Uh, we have to remember, in the end of the day, they are going nowhere. Uh, Iran is going to be there. Iran is a very significant player. UAE is a very significant player. They have interest. Israel has to make sure that its own strategic interest will not be compromised by that.